then to send it back to Pryor. Violet, again, a difficult throw as far as level of difficulty, but DC current offense makes it look seamless. Trying to get around Alex Simmons. This one floats a little too high, and reeling that in. They're working it down this sideline a lot this game. Scuba to the middle, doesn't quite pay off. And the Dogfish get a man deep. Oh, and a great bid. Not quite there, though. That's number six, number eight, James Pollard, I believe. Sidorski on the near side. Sidorski continues in motion. Mazur might get over there and collides. Hooker just hoping somebody can bail him out right now. Nobody's looking. And he sends up a hammer out of desperation into a crowd. Wow. And it is pulled down. Danny Tridiak. Danny Tridiak will launch a backhand that's going to hang beautifully for Burton, who gets there. Maybe didn't need to lay out, but in his mind he did because the fans are loving it. Mark Burton. Zone snagged away by Nathan Lamb. He is a defensive monster. The disc does float and gives DC's defense plenty of time to set up. And they've been sitting with two defenders back this whole time. So now we're going to see an aerial matchup with Sickles, and Sickles pulls it down. So as you see Cranston try to recover to this, he's coming from the wrong side, and Sickles actually has the chance to get that if it's a perfect throw, which it almost, almost had to be. Moving pretty quickly down the field here right now, so not doing any uh, fire. I love those quick breaks. We see another Huck. They're looking for Johnson. And there's two men there in Blazer. And Blazer's the one who's got position, but Johnson's the one who comes down with it with the left hand for the score and the break. Prevent the first guy from getting up, and the trailing defenders never got up early enough or believed that Johnson was going up into that space right there.